Welcome back to Great Day Washington. It's Christmas Eve and between now and the new year is a great time to book your 2020 travel plans. So here with some of the top 2020 travel destinations is travel journalist Laura Powell. Laura, welcome to Great Day. Hi, how are you? Hi. Great. Happy One thing, holidays. Yes, Happy yes, holidays. yes. Yeah, we didn't send you the memo. I know, to wear I'm your really sweater. <laughs> Um, one thing when you're traveling, you always try to look for a flight where you're not going to have to get off, have a layover, and get back on another plane. And you're saying that in 2020, we have some new nonstop destinations. Yes, we do, which is really exciting. Of course, D.C. Yeah. has a lot of good nonstop destinations. But now, actually starting this month in December, um, we have a new flight to Africa to Cape Verde. Mm -hmm. which are yeah, um, 10 islands off of the west coast of Africa. Uh, Cabo Verde Airlines is flying three flights a week there. And so if you're looking for a little sun and beach mm -hmm. uh, this winter, it's a great place to go. Um, if you're trying to get some new destinations on your 2020 list, I would imagine most people have not been to Cape Verde. And so mm -hmm. it's a nice nonstop uh, flight away now. Wow, that's yeah, on my bucket great. list. The yeah. Africa is on my bucket list. I always thought South yeah. Africa, but Cape Verde seems to be a little right. more it, with the beaches. Well, it's, and it, it's islands. It's not what people might right. think of as a typical African destination. But the thing is, yeah. from Cape Verde, you can connect on to some other countries okay. in, in Africa as well. So, Perfect. All right. There. What other nonstops can we start looking for? Well, Iberia is back, uh, mm -hmm. bringing its nonstop from D.C. to Madrid which is oh, great. Madrid wow. is a fabulous destination. You know, I think Barcelona in the last few years has gotten all the attention. But the fact mm -hmm. is, um, Madrid is a great historical city. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a beautiful. very, yes. it's easy to get around. There are great art museums. There's the Prado. There's also um, the Reina Sofia Museum, which has Picasso's Guernica, along mm -hmm. with other 20th century right. masterpieces. So that's a great place to go. Retiro Park mm -hmm. is a great way to people watch. So a great destination. That flight starts in May, um, and May is actually a really nice time to go to Spain. It's before the mm. heavy tourist season right. starts. And yeah. if you don't speak Spanish, yeah. it's okay to... Yeah, it's still pretty easy to get around. Okay. Yeah. And a non-stop flight. I can't get over it. These are non-stop flights yes. all the yes. way out there. Is there another so much destination? Well, there's a really long non-stop <laughs> flight to Japan. Um, United wow. is starting a new service to Tokyo starting in March. Now, that is going to go to uh, Haneda Airport, which is closer in than the other airport that they've flown to in the past. So it's faster mm -hmm. to get into the city. So Tokyo mm -hmm. and Japan in general is really going to be a popular destination next year. The Olympics are there. Uh, it's been getting a lot of press. And what we're seeing in Japan, I actually just went to Japan a little while ago. You're seeing that they're trying to build up tourism in destinations beyond Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka, where 90% mm -hmm. of the international travelers go there and they don't go anywhere else. And so right. you get on one of those bullet trains that whisk you off to different places nice. and you can uh. explore samurai villages and Japanese culture. You can even go skiing. There's tons of stuff to do. So um, that's an yeah. interesting but a long flight. It's about a 14, 15 hour flight. Is there, oh, that is a I long heard flight. something about hot springs there. Yes. Now, Japan mm. has some amazing hot springs. Um, there's, it's a very... A traditional bathing culture so there's a there's a way of doing things but they have hot springs and hot springs resorts all over the country mm -hmm. at different price points so it doesn't have to be expensive they also have forest bathing there which are guided <laughs> hikes what is that? Into, guided, <laughs> not, it's not forest what it sounds bathing. like people, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's guided hikes into the forest where you're it's kind of a meditative uh -huh. process right. where you're amidst nature, nature. and mm -hmm. you know just enjoying and smelling the scents mm. and, and that seems to be so. a big thing now are those yes. meditative like right. spa wellness, retreats right yeah more wellness exactly trips. wellness travel is really hitting its stride and what we're going to see next year you know a lot of times when people thought wellness travel they thought about spas like canyon ranch and miravel super expensive mm -hmm. and i think that wellness travel is going to become democratized next year okay. so that people can go forest bathing it doesn't cost much to go for a walk in right. a wood or, or dunk yourself into a hot springs, right? I mean, these are right. things that are in nature anyway. And so people are really looking for more wellness components on their vacation, whether they're traveling to Japan or they're somewhere in the United States. Right. And yeah. similar to what you mentioned with Japan, people also want to see like maybe a city that's not so touristy, that's kind of around the edges, that's more... Um, 
off the beaten path. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, yeah. there's this phenomenon that we've been talking about in the travel industry in the last few years called over tourism. And places mm. like Barcelona, like Florence, like Venice, there's just so many tourists there on the high season that it just, it becomes unpleasant. Plus, yeah, there's right. a lot of bad side effects for the locals. Um, so what people are doing is they're saying, hey, you know, we don't have to go to Venice. We can see Italy as Italy truly is mm. if we mm. go off into the countryside. And Again, with increasing air service, it's easier to get to a lot of these secondary and tertiary cities via a nonstop flight, or at least an easy connection. And so I think that's what people want, is more the authentic right. experience of a country rather than ju just going to another big to the city. Big, right, yeah. right. Thank you for I, all the ideas yeah, for 2020. I'm, oh my. my mind's working. I'm working for yeah. 2020 now. <laughs> Laura, happy holidays and happy Thank new you. year Thank you. To you. You too. Thank you. We'll be back with more Great Day right after this.